have come glamping in Niigata, Japan. Glamping is actually really popular in Japan. Um, it's very popular, therefore it's very expensive and it's very hard to find somewhere that's not completely booked out months in advance. So we have actually come to Yuzawa in Niigata which is very popular in winter time and is actually where we did a work away in a ski lodge. Uh, you can check those videos out but we've come back to the same place to do glamping instead in summertime. Let's show you around. Come on in and have a look. So outside we have the al fresco area. <laughs> it's actually very well equipped. We're hoping that we can um, do a barbecue later. We've got a little table and chairs. We've got washing up. Lovely. Let's come on in. Alright, so when you come on inside, like all Japanese places, we have our little genkan, take off your shoes, put on your slippers, and welcome. Isn't this nice? It's very different to uh, our usual camping in a tiny two-man tent with one mattress that's uh, deflating on us. Really luxury. Uh, basically, you can see what we have. We've got a bed over in the corner here. We've got the lounge behind me here. We've got super beautiful views of the valley and the mountains. And then, if you come on over here, we've got our little kitchen area with a fridge, lots of different uh, utensils and appliances. I think there's even aircon and there's power. And then I guess the last thing is a bathroom, a toilet and shower. Of course, you can see there's no toilet and shower in here. It's just in another separate building outside that you need to go to. But that's it for the tour very short and sweet uh, basically we're going to go and get some food so that we can have a barbecue and just chill in this beautiful countryside area Roy's already laying down because uh, do you want to show us your sunburn from today oh god I guess the back will show the <gasps> oh, it looks so bad it's yeah it's bad <laughs> it's really bad um, but if you want to find out why that happened, stay tuned for the next video because we explain it in that. But for now, I'll just suffer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are back from the shops and we've got our dinner for tonight. Barbecue meat, barbecue chicken. And as for anyone who lives in Japan knows, you can go to the supermarket and there's a whole section where there's food already made. You just heat it up. Heat up rice. Easy and very good for when you're camping. Roy's outside, getting the fire started. Let's go see how he's going. How are things going out here? Well, we don't have kindling, so I highly doubt the fire's going to start. But, I guess we'll see. Two hours later. Alright, so basically we got the fire going. It was going, it was alright. It wasn't that hot though, and it wasn't sustaining itself very well so we just thought it'd be quicker to get the fry pan out which we did and um, as you can see I've got some delicious meat and chicken going we're literally just doing meat and rice no vegetables <laughs> that's okay um, yeah and then we'll go in and we're gonna sit inside our awesome little dome tent and have dinner I've never been known for my cautious side you should know that I'm well aware I don't want anything left untried Will you come with me, mon cher? So let us just do my love Good morning everyone. We just woke up in the dome tent and we've just like come out for a little bit of a stroll in the morning and it's really peaceful and it's so beautiful just out in the countryside we're just surrounded by these mountains and just like listening to the insects and like looking at these like beautiful rice fields uh, but what's something that is so interesting is how different this place is to when we were here 
in winter time. And I guess to a lot of viewers, this actually might just be completely obvious, but to us who grew up in Australia, like we don't have this whole four season thing. And it's so cool just to see how a single place can be so different in all four different seasons. Oh, hi. Chef Amy. Hi, welcome to my kitchen where we make eggs and eggs only. <laughs> okay. Yes. Let's Oh, the gas bottle's not connected. <laughs> That'd be helpful, eh? So I'm just making myself up some um, egg fried rice. But yeah, all of these cooking facilities actually are included. So, you know, when you come and stay, you don't actually have to bring your own gear, which is like really nice. Nice breakfast. Yeah, it's a good spread. Takimasu. There's two hammocks. And I thought it'd be lovely to go in one, but I feel like I'm going to look like a potato trying to get in. <laughs> this will do. I think my head should go up Your that Your head end. should definitely be up this side. <laughs> well, the blood's rushing to my head. Yeah. Oh, it's very relaxing though, if I was up that end. Oh, I could spend a few days here. Supposedly there's a river nearby, so we're going to just see if we can find the river, see if it's nice and pretty. Let's go. Literally one minute later we've arrived. Well, we found the river. I don't know how the children are in all the way up to their chest because it's freezing. It feels like it just came off the glaciers up on top of the mountains. It's so cold, my feet went numb. The, the glamping experience, you know, just like super relaxed, having a nap in the middle of the day with a beautiful view of the mountains and stuff. Very nice. But alas, our glamping experience has come to an end. It's time to check out, time to get on with the day. <laughs> it was really, really relaxing, as you can see. Roy's behind me in a bit of a world of pain from his sunburn yesterday, which you can uh, check out how that happened in the next hiking video. But for now, one last thing that we need to mention is the price. It was about 30,000 yen um, for one night here, which is pretty regular and reasonable um, for a glamping experience in Japan. As I said at the start of the video, they can get very expensive, especially when you start to have um, meals included and top chefs making the meals. So this was really good. Anyways, um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. The next one, as we said, will be hiking. We'll see you then.